Okay, it's been several months uh, since I promised that I'd share this video of this guitar and thought I'd just give a quick video presentation up front of me talking about things on this guitar and what's been going on. Just had a lot of life things, gonna be retiring real soon and um, you know, hopefully documenting some more videos. I don't have a ton of guitars left to document and I've been scaling down quite a bit. So um, I will try to capture everything that I have and maybe capture and review some of the amplifiers I have because I do have quite a bit of amplifiers and other equipment um, just for documentation and posterity's sake, right? So. Um, Without further ado, let's take a deeper dive into this 1969 Telecaster. All right, let's check this thing out. It is beautiful, in my opinion. I love this color. Um, there's been a lot of things going on with this guitar, mainly a refinish with that beautiful Sonic or Daphne blue or whatever the Fender color was. I believe they did have some of those in 69 but um, it was probably cream or maybe natural swamp ash to begin with a lot of uh, replacement parts and things have gone on besides the refinish those saddles for instance are american fender compensated saddles and i've been really happy with them so far it had some standard brass saddles on there before um, but they were moving around quite a bit. And here's a nice look with the ashtray bridge, which is also aftermarket, but fits on and looks nicely. Of course, it prohibits palm muting, so there's not really much point in having it on there, in my opinion. Here's proof that the neck is from 69 anyway, um, April, and it's... A really nice neck and it's got natural relic wear as you'll see in a minute and the original pickups are all in good shape you'll see that they have a um, you'll see they have a brass uh, strap and the cavity controls have been shielded so there you can see the brass strip and some wiring that goes to the bridge it's actually a pretty um, pretty quiet Telecaster and the back has some age now whether it's been intentionally relic or that's natural wear it's hard to say I got it from a really nice guy on reverb uh, his store is called nutmeg vintage guitar and he was a, a real gentleman and a pleasure to work with on this he had got it from someone else on reverb a while ago but yeah you can kind of see that natural wear there on the bottom and the original neck plate which is really cool and does uh, validate the serial number to the year 69 so for whatever that's worth uh, looks like some of the control cavity or oh, here's the wear on the neck that just I love the way maple wears and it just looks like it's been played a lot, right? And, you know, the good guitars do, and the good guitars oftentimes aren't all original either. So I forgive this guitar, you know? It's it's uh, it's lived a life, and it has a story to tell, and it's got more stories to tell. And it's just a, a really nice specimen. It's a player. It's, it's something that I bought to play and not hang up and I need to play it more which I plan on doing it's just a really good specimen and uh, you can see the tuners have been upgraded to a later maybe 70s style fender tuners they work pretty good um, not, no need to change them out but you can see the remnants from different tuners that were in there and then the back of the neck you know my buddy pointed out that the finish around the skunk stripe there as you can see it when it pulls in is a little bit worn out in spaces and parts but it's not all the way so he wondered if maybe a truss rod repair happened or something but i don't think so 
And then, of course, the case, which is in really good shape, considering all things, all the latches and locks work the way they're supposed to, and the interior is quite beautiful. So, yeah, there you have it, 1969 refinished Fender Telecaster in all its glory. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.